Hi guys, I'm Shmi, and hello to you from the German Alps, where our trip continues after a pretty fun day yesterday, taking the Ferrari and going skiing. So we're based out here at the Kempinski Hotel Bichtersgarden, who invited me to come and stay, and we've been talking to the activity concierge, and today we've got something quite fun in store, which Benzine and I are going to quite enjoy, I think. Yes, we have been given these two beauties for the day. Oh yes, two and... times the Mercedes AMG GTS. And I can't wait to get started, but there is one very big question. Black or silver? Black or silver? Tough choice. Do you know what? I'm going to go with a black one just because I've ordered my MG GTR in black. And well, I don't know. I'm very happy with the silver. Then, then this is a win. So we're going to take these two cars and go out for a little drive with them both. And just quickly, by way of an introduction, if you don't know much about the AMG GTS, twin turbo, four litre V8 or bi-turbo, I should say. Uh, 510 horsepower, 650 newton meters, front engine, rear wheel drive, seven speed dual clutch gearbox, a pretty awesome exhaust note, a product from AMG in a falter back, and a very nice one too. There was the GT and the GTS. The GT had 456 horsepower. The GTS is this car. Now there's the GTR uh, at the top of the range with the Nurburgring record for a rear wheel drive car, and also the GTC available in Coupe and Roadster. But this is the GTS. It's very, very iconic and distinct. It was sort of the follow-up, I guess, to the SLS AMG, but at a slightly lower price point. You've got the really long, aggressive front end. But to be honest, I think I've probably already talked a little bit too much, and we should probably just take out both of these cars. Let's We've got going. both keys. And uh, yeah, a video with not much talking. Let's make it all about the cars. Let's do it. Let's drive.
would say we're having a pretty good drive so far. Yesterday we came up to where we are now with the FF, but today we've kind of got two of them. Yeah, I, I kind of <laughs> like driving as well, I have to say. <laughs> Joining in the fun. It's a bit of double trouble really, because we've got two exactly the same car, and you're driving in one and basically watching the other one. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a surreal experience, but a lot of fun at the same time. With plenty of added downshifts for pop, crackle, burble, bang, the noise it makes, even right down low in the rev range is incredible. And now I'm, I can't say more excited than you, but I'm so excited for when your GTR finally yeah, arrives. Me too. And Ben's probably going to get to drive that a fair few times as well when we're off driving the two together. But the views up here are fairly incredible. Um, we've been enjoying some pretty spectacular scenery and that's not going to be the end of it. So we're going to go and grab a bite to eat. Yes. Then it will be back for a bit more double trouble after food. Woohoo! Sadly, we're back, and that means it's time to say goodbye to the AMG GTSs, yeah. the plural. We have to give the keys back, unfortunately. It's um, been pretty fun, though. We've made a, a little bit of a mess in terms of how dirty they are now. I'm going to wander around. Um, but <laughs> what a drive. I was not expecting to be able to enjoy these two today. Which would you choose? Ooh, <laughs> difficult. <laughs> uh, I, jo I joke, I joke. There's not exactly much difference. Although I do like the red interior. And yes, the car I've been I, I only noticed this at lunchtime when I had a bit of a peer inside yours. It's quite a, quite striking, um, quite aggressive, but uh, I like it. I think it's funny for me because obviously most, well, the most recent thing I did like this, I drove the AMG GT, the regular car, the slightly less powerful car, and I came away thinking that it could really do with a touch more. Yeah. And now I've driven the GTS, and it's quite funny, after driving the FF just before, to me, 
it felt like even this needs a touch more, <laughs> which is where the GTC and then the GTR come in. So the GTR, this is 510 horsepower. The GTR is 585. Has a couple of other bits of technology that this doesn't have, like rear wheel steer, yeah. which will make it turn even better. Because the thing that you're constantly aware of is how long the car is and how big the bonnet is yes. out in front of you. Like yes. for driving a left-hand drive car, you have no idea where the back right, the front right corner is. Sorry. Yeah, of the we, car. we were no saying uh, it's it's quite difficult to get into a, a left-hand drive car like this with a huge bonnet. And I'm sure both of us for the first like 15 minutes were in the middle of the road. To yeah, because you're completely over. and you're turning turn in points is just completely off, especially yeah. when you go straight out of your hotel onto a wonderful mountain road like that. Yeah. Um, but we'll have much fun with the GTR when that arrives later this year. Oh, I bet you we will. <laughs> it's probably six months away now, um, and then the fun time starts. And it's going to come in black with, well, black interior. It's black Alcantara interior. I'm going to have the bucket seat in mine. Um, everything's going to be Alcantara black with yellow piping. So around the edges of the seats and the, the sort of dashboard and stuff is all going to have yellow piping and stitching with yellow calipers. But Which, it will not remain black, will it? No, it's definitely not going to remain black. I probably should have. I probably should have clarified that. It's probably going to start in one mystery color and then it's going to change to another mystery <laughs> color in due course. That sort of seems like the way I want to do it because that's a car that I want to use, much like we've used this today, mm. out blasting around having fun, but also there's a good amount of luggage storage um, in the back, and I'm going to open that up quickly, which is perfect for the old road trip type stuff. So key. There we go. It's a hatchback after all. That pops up. There's a decent amount of storage for our stuff in there. Oh, and obviously I've spec the carbon strut brace on mine. You have wouldn't, to, right? <laughs> wouldn't have it any other way. Very nice of them to give us some umbrellas and then some bits and bobs that have float, thrown around while, while we've been driving. It wasn't me, honestly. Uh, <laughs> let's just close that up and move swiftly on. Um, but yeah, this has been really, really fun. Uh, really nice bonus activity arranged for us by the activity concierge here at the Kempinski, where I can't really show you much other than we're surrounded by the most gorgeous of views. We, uh, outside the rooms on that side of the hotel, are looking straight out over, like, waking up and looking at this most amazing scenery. Um, and then we've got all this other fun stuff to enjoy as well. So it's a big thanks from me to the Kempinski. I've got to try and pronounce the name right. It's like Birchtesgarden. I'm probably still wrong with that. I'm sorry. Um, I'm doing my best. Um, but this has been a really, really fun day on top of yesterday's adventure in the FF going yeah. skiing. Normally there's actually a ski resort. You can literally go out the back of the hotel and down, but because it's when, well, when the lifts middle are of being March, yes, they? the lifts are all being redone for next year. And they've closed up the resort already for this season. I am totally planning to come back here and drive these roads because that view we went up where we've been driving is the Rossfeld, uh, I don't know if you call it ski Rossfeld area. Pass or whatever it is, but going up there, the views, have just been amazing. Hopefully the roads, some of those get translated onto camera because yes, it yes, was really stunning. For sure. It's a toll road, interestingly. Um, so it's a bit deserted, not too many cars up there. But a good day comes to an end. The sun is setting. We will go in, chill out, enjoy our evenings, or evening, and uh, take it from there. So farewell for now to the two AMG GTSs. <laughs> ben waves goodbye. That's also it for us, from us, for now. Thank you very much for watching as always guys and we'll catch you soon. Cheers!